second word, the second advice from Tilopa is don't imagine. In the same sense that don't recall was about don't bug your mind with what is past. Don't imagine is don't bug your mind with what is not yet. Meaning, don't always project things which have not happened yet in the future. How many times <coughs> do we think about a situation which we suppose will happen? We think about it thousands of times. And eventually that very situation either will never happen, never take place, or will <coughs> take place in a completely different way that we have 1,000 times projected it to be. So what is the meaning in it? What is the need in it? Except that it keeps our mind uselessly busy and does not allow us to concentrate on what is the most meaningful the work on our mind the pacification of our mind and the present moment it doesn't mean that we never plan anything in the future of course we do and have to because we live in a society, in a family, in an environment which requires that we make appointments, that we plan our holidays, that we plan this and plan that. No problem to place on the line of the future an event or a situation. But beside the fact that for example, tomorrow morning I have an appointment, this is the fact. Now let's not engage into thinking how the appointment will take place, how the person will come, what that person might say, to which I will answer this, and eventually he will or she will react like that, and so on. This is useless. This is what bugs the mind. So, when I say don't imagine, it does not mean don't make an appointment tomorrow. Never. Any appointment, any plan in the future. Impossible, right? We need to live. But, to live in the society. But, when you see that the mind starts full speed to engage in creating how the event will take place and what will be said and so on, just de-engage from that, just stop it. And this is possible, don't ever tell me, I cannot stop my mind. Whose mind it is? Yours, no? So. It's like a car. Sometimes the car might have any kind of defect and the engine speeds up. What do you do? Either you take out the gear at all or you switch off and it stops. If we can do that with a machine, we can do that with our own mind. When you see, when you perceive that the thoughts start to speed up, they engage. Take a deep breath and tell yourself fact is I have an appointment tomorrow dot we will see how it happens what will happen this will depends on how peaceful is my mind on how happy is my mind on how concentrated is my mind not necessarily on how much I will imagine how it should be. What is the basic thing that we are looking for? 
it is happiness, right? If we want to reach happiness, we need to achieve peace in our mind. And the two, the two first advices from Tulopa are in order to establish peace. Do not recall, do not base your whole life on what is past, on patterns elaborated on the basis of past memories and do not imagine, do not project yourself uselessly into the future, do not create events which would never take place, which would never take place the way you plan them. If you eliminate already this constant recalling and constant projecting to the future, what happens? The mind becomes much more peaceful, much less bugged by all kind of thoughts. This is the way towards peace. It's not complicated at all. Peace is already there already inside your own mind. You do not see it because you constantly recall and give importance to past thoughts and events, memories, or and constantly project what might never happen in the future even.